Yo, what up, Spock fam? Here we go. Vinegar and baking soda. To begin with, in class, students added or measured 20 milliliters of vinegar using the graduate cylinder that you can see there in the video. Let's say I had 20 milliliters of vinegar in the graduated cylinder. They then transferred that into an Erlenmeyer flask. So the clear liquid at the bottom there is our vinegar. And use this piece of paper to measure out 3.0 grams of baking soda. So you can see this capacitor removed just a little bit so they can get that 3.0 grams. So then use that paper to transfer the baking soda into the balloon. And then took that balloon and put it on top of the flask and added a piece of tape so no gas could actually leave this uh, flask or the balloon while the reaction was happening. So there's the mass of the system right now and you can go ahead and record that. When they flip the balloon, you can see they mix the baking soda in with the vinegar and the reaction occurs. There's two things we can see that are proving that a gas is produced. One, you can see all those bubbles. And two, you can see the balloon is inflating as well with the gas that was produced. Now we see that the mass has changed and it's actually gone down just a little bit. So you can use that number right there as your mass. I added mass on this one from another group. But you can see the vinegar and baking soda were both on the scale. Once we mixed them, though, the gas was produced and the mass went down just a little bit. You could use those masses as well. You see, the law of conservation of mass states that mass cannot be created or destroyed. So we have to figure out where the mass actually went that went away. So in the beginning, all of the force was forcing down on the scale. Once we actually mixed them, though, the gas started to push up on the balloon, causing there to be a little bit less pressure on the scale. So there was no mass that changed, but it's just that the mass now is in the gas and the gas is pushing up on the balloon, which reduces the force down on the scale just by a little bit. So mass was not created or destroyed. It was just turned into a gas, which is going to interact differently and not force its weight down on the scale. We also looked at the temperature. And so one of the things that we need to add here is in the beginning, the temperature was around 61 degrees. And you can see here now after the reaction, it's about 58 degrees Fahrenheit. So make sure you also include that data in your science notebook slide and then look and see if this is an indicator of a chemical reaction. But we wanted to measure the balloon.